Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple pasta dish with homemade fettuccine. So first up, we're going to make our pasta from scratch. So uh, get some all-purpose flour out and scoop about maybe two cups or so onto your countertop. Uh, dig a little well in the center of the flour and then put your egg yolks into the center of that well uh, with a little bit of olive oil. Then you're going to start incorporating um, some of the flour from the edges of the well into the egg yolks until it uh, becomes a solid mass of dough. Alright, so once the dough has come together, you're going to knead it for about 5-7 to seven minutes until it becomes a really nice, smooth piece of dough. Once that's done, you're going to wrap it up in plastic and let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. Once the dough is relaxed, uh, take it out of the plastic wrap and you're going to start rolling it out into sort of a long rectangle so it can fit into the pasta machine. Um, you could actually roll this out by hand if you wanted to, but it definitely will take some time and some arm work. Um, so if you don't have the time or the strength to do that, I recommend just using a pasta machine like I have here. I'm going to be rolling it out to about the second to last setting um, on my pasta machine just so the noodles have a little bit of thickness and bite to them. Um, and they still have some strength and then I'm going to run it through the fettuccine attachment in my pasta machine Alright, so these fettuccine noodles look really, really good. I'm going to lay them out on the counter and cut them right down the middle uh, just so that they're a decent size and manageable when you're eating them. Um, and I'm going to let them dry for about 10 minutes. Alright, so once your pasta has slightly dried out, get a pot of boiling water going with a decent pinch of salt. And you're going to cook this pasta for a solid 2 minutes. Um, once it's done, you're going to take it out, strain it, and run some cold water over the top if your uh, sauce or your other ingredients aren't ready. Um, and then you're going to drench it with a decent amount of olive oil just so the noodles don't stick together. Alright, so for the sauce, get a medium saute pan on medium heat um, and you're going to add some olive oil to it and some garlic then some cream and you're going to let it reduce uh, for about a minute or so. Then you're going to add some cracked black pepper, some lemon zest and some parmesan cheese and give it a few stirs. Once that's done you're going to add your pasta to all this beautiful creamy goodness. Uh, give it a few stirs then you're going to add all the fresh picked herbs. Here I have parsley, basil and tarragon and then I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of salt and fresh squeezed lemon. Alright, so once your pasta is done, it's time to plate it up. So here I'm going to use a really clean white plate um, and then I'm going to try to give as much height on the pasta just to give a really beautiful presentation. Top it with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, another good helping of the fresh picked herbs that I um, added earlier and uh, then drizzle all the beautiful leftover sauce over the top. And there you guys have it, a very simple and clean fettuccine pasta made from scratch. All right, I think this was a fantastic recipe to kick off pasta week. Really simple, uh, aside from the pasta, this is a really, really easy pasta to make. Yeah, just like a simple lemon garlic cream sauce, a little bit of fresh herbs, Parmesan cheese, pretty simple. Let me try this out now. Mm, like right away, you can smell the lemon, uh, the garlic, all the herbs, you got some basil tarragon, some parsley, mm, nice creamy pasta going on here. Fettuccine is just incredible. Mm. There's something about fresh pasta that's very different than dry. 
It's tender, still has a little bite. It's just incredible. A totally different texture. Sometimes dry pasta can tend to be a little bit rubbery, um, depending on the quality you buy. I mean, usually I just go to my local grocery store and buy whatever pasta I could find. And it's, it's all right, but this is just like really tender, nice and rich. Mm. Oh, this is bomb. And it probably took me, I don't know, 15 minutes to make the pasta. So it really doesn't take that much time. The first couple times you make pasta, it's a little difficult to get the consistency down. You know, you kind of make a mess on the counter. Um, but once you got it down, really quick and simple. And it's so worth it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kicking off of pasta week. Um, it was definitely fun making this dish. Um, this pasta was absolutely incredible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below for future videos. Um, you know, let me know what pastas you want to see the next couple days, and I'll try to get, you know get cracking on them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another delicious recipe. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.